Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 28th of January. Uh, it's a holiday here in Australia, so I'm just going to cover um, a few videos, but I'm on the S&P here, I'm just going to cover the S&P today. Um, so um, we've got um, wave three here on the daily, an A and a B and a C here for wave four. And the move up here certainly looks um, impulsive and the 61.8% retracement level is at very close to the 2700 here, as you know, and obviously it's coming into this big block of resistance uh, here as well. So let's go in and have a look at this particular trend to the upside here on the four hour chart starting. I was going to relabel it like this here. So looking at wave one here, wave two here, and then one and two and three and four, and then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave, the fourth wave, and then the fifth wave here. We did have this as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave uh, here, but it does appear, even though it hasn't taken out the high here, and it's probably still possible, um, uh, but probably not probable um, because a lot of the other markets around the world have sort of breached or touching this previous high here but it still could be an A wave, a B wave and failing right here and then down for a C wave here but um, it does look rather impulsive and um, the other point here is that um, I know from the trading levels we've got support at 26.50 here so having support on top of here created long trades for us and um, we should see this market push higher. So let's move in and have a closer look um, at this here on the um, hourly chart here. So um, from wave three here, and we need to look at this as an A and a B and a C wave here. As I mentioned, we could have this as a B wave finishing just here. If this market drops below the 2650, then that's where it will be here. So um, just bear that in mind. But we were looking, last time we spoke, we were looking to be short in this space here. But any support on top of this level here, then we would be looking to be long here. So technically, you should be long um, on these little highs within this space here. And we can keep the stop um, under this level here. Just tighten it up here. Now, the thing here is in the instance of moving higher here, there's a few resistance levels that we need to be aware of. And the first one that the market is playing out in is what I call group two, subgroup two. So that's, um, that's from the 50 here. Normally we'd be looking, uh, we're using the Fibonacci numbers as, as the price ratio, one, two, three, five, and eight. So this gives us the eight here, the 2680, but also with the trading level is a little bit more to it. So we look at 6572 here and then 80 here. So all of these make up subgroup two here and they pretty much always create the resistance. Um, so in this case here, we can see that they that they are the, the, uh, they are the resistance. This particular move back in here though is corrective. So we should see this play out higher here as wave three, then an A and a B and a C for wave four here, and then moving further to the upside for wave five. So we're looking for a five wave sequence in, uh, in this uh, space here. Let's have a look at that on the, um, on the tick chart here. So on the tick, let me just get all this into space here. So we've got this A wave here, B wave here, and C wave here for wave four. And then we need to look at this as wave one, A, B, C for wave two here. I suppose, I mean, I've been trying to sort of figure this out, but I was just expecting wave three to be higher. So it's, it's, it's possible to put wave three over on this little high here. I'll just dull that out there. It is it is possible for that, but um, yeah, it, it means it would need to see an extension in the third wave here. So I, I think that I've tried to pull this apart um, best I can. It, it, I'm not quite confident, but um, what, what, I, what, what I can see here is that this move here should be corrective. Um, it's got overlapping wave structures within within this space here. So um, we should see a new high above here. So we can either we can either sort of 
move up here, react from the 72 here, and then find support on that, and then move high and find support on 80, and then move high from, so it can move up higher here. The other thing is that um, I've been conservative here in terms of, if this moves up here for wave five of three here, then we would have an A and a B and a C that can come back to this wave four here. So, um, and then push up here higher for wave five. So um, in this case, um, you've got to make a decision um, either to keep the stop out of the way. Um, uh, once the 80 here becomes the tested support, it can move above the 80, but if it develops support here, then, um, then it will move up into that space there. This little pattern in this little area through here, if I go from, this is 100 ticks, this chart, if I go to uh, 20 ticks it will look a little bit like this here so you can see that we've got overlapping wave structures here so it's difficult to count this as wave one two three four and five here so it counts better as wave five waves here for wave a and then an a and a b and a c wave here with one two three four five for the c wave and then down for wave c here and then up for wave one here and back for wave two so wave three is playing out wave three should stretch higher and i normally find generally speaking that as a rule of thumb wave three normally tops out at the previous high here uh, and then wave four would come into uh, to play it might um, be a little bit shorter here but um, yeah and then we'll see wave five of five of three here and then the a wave the b wave and the c wave so if you see it coming down from that point that's what it will be if you don't see it coming back down then it's going to continue to move higher um, and we've got group number 80 here so 65 72 and 80 there are other important numbers in here if you get that close to the market obviously the 70 is going to be important but above the five so what's the next number after five well, it's eight, isn't it? So in terms of Fibonacci, so um, the eight will be important here as profit taking, the seven will be important here. Um, and we've got the two here, but support on top of, uh, we can also go into micro group one here, which should be 71, 72 and 73 here. So seven, support on 73 gets the market to 75. So five is important. Five is the second strongest number in the market. And then we've got, um, We've also got um, eight again in here, and then the eight here. So there's a lot of there's a lot of numbers within group two, and and I suppose that helps it to be group two. But I always just put the skeleton in, which is 65, 72, um, and 80. All right, I'm just going to leave it at that. I want to uh, enjoy our holiday here in Australia. So uh, thank you. Cheers.